What's up everybody? Today we got a workout called mashed potatoes and I'm excited because mashed potatoes, you know? All right, this one's a little bit confusing the way it works, so uh, let me explain it here. We've got three rounds that are gonna be six minutes of work long. So you're gonna have six minutes of work and then you're gonna rest for two minutes before you start the next round, all right? So you're gonna go six, rest, six, rest, six, all right? The cool thing is, is that if you finish the work in a given round early, you get extra rest. So if I finish the first round in five minutes, I just bank myself an extra one minute of rest. And the reason that we program rest in like this is so that we can really push the envelope on our pace because we know that at the end of that six minutes, I'm gonna have two minutes to recover and then try it again, all right? So each round starts with um, Cindy. Cindy is, um, one round of Cindy is gonna be five pull-ups, 10 push-ups, and 15 air squats. So once you've done those, that's one round of Cindy. So each round you might have five, four, or three rounds of Cindy you have to do. On the pull-ups, we're just looking for chin over the bar at the top, down to full extension at the bottom, all right? Five reps of those. If you don't have a pull-up bar, we're gonna do the um, plank rows like we did earlier this week. So that's gonna be a plank with a little bit wider base with the feet, row up, elbow in nice and tight. We're gonna do five reps on each side in order to equal the pull-ups. All right, push-ups. We're looking for full extension at the top, chest touching the floor at the bottom, while maintaining that nice planked tight position through the midsection. So it's gonna look like this, all the way down, and pressing all the way back up for 10 reps. If that's too challenging for you, we are going to modify by coming down to the knees, and we're gonna still try and preserve that long length of motion, chest to the floor each time. Last piece on Cindy is gonna be the air squat. So we're looking for hip crease below the top of the knee, call that below parallel. My heels are gonna stay on the ground, my chest is up and my back is nice and neutral. And a couple of them strung together is gonna to look like this. All right, could be a flexibility issue for you. Rather than force it all the way low, I'd, I'd rather see you stay nice and safe with good posture and shorten that range of moment, movement. One more thing, we'll go feet right outside the hips for foot placement. Um, next movement is, what do we got? Single bit power cleans. Ah, dumbbell power cleans. All right, so dumbbell power clean is gonna start on the floor, gonna come down, keep a nice big chest. I'm gonna stand up and pop my hip and shrug at the same time and then catch it at the shoulder here. So at full speed, it's gonna look like this. Pop and catch. Switch hands all the way back down. Pop and catch, all right? So I'm just gonna keep going back and forth, using my legs because my arm's gonna get tired at some point, right? All right, so that's the power clean. And the second round, our dumbbell movement is a- Goblet squat. Goblet squat. So just like the air squat we were doing, except this time, you gotta hold your dumbbell. So it's gonna be right up against the chest, hold that top head of the dumbbell. Everything else stays the same. Really fight to keep your chest up on these. As you get tired, you're gonna wanna incline, tighten that belly up, stay nice and upright. All right, and then on the third round, we have squat clean, squat thrusters. clean thrusters with the dumbbell. So just like your power clean, except now adding a squat, we're going to pop and shrug. We're gonna catch and into a squat, stand up and press out. So from the side, it's gonna look like catch and press. We'll switch arms, catch and press. Like so. All right, guys, I know that's a lot. Go back and rewatch it. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and hit us up on Facebook or Instagram. We'll get them answered right away for you. All right, have fun.